Welcome to It Came From A Box, this is Sir Joe I Am, and on this <coughs> episode, we're taking a look at what's inside our new favorite EDC sling for the Nintendo Switch, specifically the light. The bag is one we featured in the last video. This is the CSO3 Crossbody Sling, a collaboration between Astro Gaming and Timbuk2, and it's packed to the brim. It's got this tactical aesthetic made of durable polyester and nylon with a water-resistant coating. To carry it, we have a durable strap with a basic but reliable clip. On the front, we have a row of webbing with a D-ring on the end. We've got fancy zippers. On the back, we've got breathable padding and a secret pocket above. In it, I have my phone, a Pixel 7 Pro, beautiful screen, amazing battery life, an incredible AI-powered camera, and a ton of other awesome features. It's currently protected by Spigen's thin and low-profile liquid air case with a clear pop socket to keep it safely in hand. Then I have my Alpaca zip pouch wallet, very durable with water-resistant zippers. In it, I have Burt's Bees lip balm, you know, for the eyelids, my dinged-up Fisher space pen, and because I finally stopped biting my nails to give you all better cuticle views, I have Victorinox's Swiss Army nail clippers to keep on me at all times. And of course I have some cards and cash in here, but you have to sort of put them in at an angle since the size is a little small. Back to the compartment, the multi-tool is Leatherman Style PS. We featured it before, it's got eight tools that include scissors, a nail file and flathead, adorable pliers, a useful carabiner up top, but it has no knife to keep it travel friendly. And then I have a new flashlight by Olight. This is the Arkfeld and it has both a 1000 lumens flashlight and a green laser for pointing things out. Sounds gimmicky, but it's actually much more useful than you think. It's also funny to use with babies and pets. Now, before we continue, this episode is brought to you by Timu. Timu is an online marketplace bringing you insane discounts on a huge range of products. Deals are scattered throughout the site. You have 90% off here, lightning deals, all kinds of sales events, and a lot of coupons. They've got all kinds of things such as an 8.8 .8 inch capybara, capybara plush for just under five bucks, baby knee pads for those of you with baby sized legs for just 98 cents. But they also have what we're all here for, Nintendo Switch gear. So let's shop around. First thing, we found this awesome carrying case in the design of Link's tunic from Breath of the Wild. There's these clear protective cases for the Switch Lite with a few designs, including an Animal Crossing New Horizons themed version. They've got these fold out boxes that can hold up to 41 game card cases. Just, you know, make sure not to lose it. That little two game card storage toaster we featured before is also on here. There's a full sized Mario themed carrying case that can hold the full Switch kit, including a Pro Controller. If you're feeling adventurous, you can swap out the shells on your Joy-Cons with these transparent ones. And yes, they even sell the Nintendo Switch OLED, but using our exclusive discount, new users can get it for just $2.99. That's $50 off MSRP, and being Nintendo, uh, that's pretty rare to come by. So if you've been waiting to pick up a Nintendo Switch OLED, it's time to pull the trigger. So click the link down in the description below to score that deal with our exclusive code before it's gone. And thanks to Timu for sponsoring this episode. So check them out. And if you buy anything, please let us know what you got down in the comments below. And remember, supporting them helps support us. Moving on to the front, here we have a magnetic flap and inside we have a charging cable by Numskull. It's USB to USB-C and it has this LED flow light that indicates when it's on. Then, one of the weirdest additions to my EDC, a Milwaukee keychain tape measure. Might not make sense to most people, but since we moved, I've been using this to measure just about everything that we put inside the studio. And because you never know when you need it, I have a tiny 128 gig SanDisk thumb drive that's extra handy with both USB-C and USB connections. Next, above that flap, we have another zippered compartment, which I use for my little notebook here. Uh, very low tech, and I have it in that protective leather cover. And to use with it, I have a new favorite pen. This is the Tombow Air Press. It has a nice clip. It's slightly clicky, not as annoying as I'd like. It has a very ergonomic design, and it has a pressurized ink cartridge similar to the one on the Fisher Space Pen that works at any angle. Now onto the main compartment, there's three sections. Back here, we first have two mesh slots with 
a very thin pop-out stand by Moco with multiple angle adjustments, and I use this for the Switch Lite since it doesn't have a kickstand. Then, I've shown it before and I even gave one away to one of you. This is the Flask, an NFC emulator by Blue Blabs, which I use for Amiibo when I can't carry Amiibo. Easily one of my favorite pieces of Nintendo Switch tech, but I'm terrified of getting it wet. In here, I also have Genki's Waveform, which are feature-packed earbuds. Sound quality is stellar, but the main reason they replaced my Google Pixel Buds is because of their dual stream feature so I can hear the audio from both the Switch and my phone at the same time. In this other pocket, for those random multiplayer moments, I have a pair of Joy-Cons. They're wearing Extreme Rate's clear shell and green buttons, and they're held together by Satisfy's controller rail. Behind that, I have Gully Kit's 5000 milliamp Switch Lite battery with one USB port out, an integrated USB-C cable, and it also comes with a clip that attaches to the console, but I'm not using it since I have a protective case attached. In the back, we also have 14 game card slots that I'm not using because I have four already integrated in Moomba's Blade Pro case. This is the frosted version that nicely showcases the Sword and Shield Switch Lite. It's got sturdy grips, cutouts for all the essentials, those handy game card cases, and those are attached to the front cover which protects the screen and pops off for use. Aside from the case, on the light, I also have thumb grips on the analog sticks because remember, if these go bad, they're much more difficult to replace than that on the individual Joy-Cons. As for what I'm playing, uh, this thing is packed mostly with indie games, but I'm currently playing through Atomic Crops, which is a current favorite, slowly working through Curse to Golf, and I finally started Chained Echoes. So that's what's packed inside our CSO3 sling. Love this bag, even if you don't want to carry a Switch, it's still an amazing sling to carry your EDC. Anyways, uh, handing it off to you guys, let me know what you think of everything in this kit, and let's talk down in the comments. Also, if you're looking to pick up anything featured in this video and want to support us at the same time, please check out the affiliate links down in the description below. Once again, this is Sergio AM. thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you for the next box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out. So please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box.